Today is World Teachers Day. To celebrate the day, World Bodies, UNESCO and Education International give the world a better understanding of their role. South Africa has more than 400,000 teachers who fulfill a crucial developmental role. Despite some challenges, teaching remains a calling for many educators. Now we're joined by Bailey Thompson-Blake, Chief of Schools at Spark Schools. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. And right at the top, congratulations on World Teachers Day. Thank you. Happy World Teachers Day. Thank you. Now South Africa, you say that South Africa needs uh, a new breed of teachers. Take us through some of the challenges that teachers face today. Well, we believe that there's a crisis in education in South Africa and that a shortage of qualified and trained teachers is at the heart of that crisis. Um, we believe it's our role at Spark to provide excellent professional development so that teachers have a great opportunity. Okay, so now, are our universities producing capable teachers that can handle today's challenges in the classroom? I think that teacher training in universities, in private institutions, and in government institutions is failing to ensure that teachers are ready for the challenges of the classroom and there are unique challenges at this point in education in South Africa. And what are those challenges? Well, um, we simply need to turn around the degree of student achievement here in South Africa to ensure that South Africa leads the world in global education. And we need teachers who are well trained in content but as well as classroom and behavior management. Now, I did, uh, you know, we did speak about currently our situation in teacher training is that we do not have those, previously, those previous teacher training institutions. We have now got a very academic teaching uh, course that universities put out. Absolutely. Um, and we find that teachers are now um, having difficulty with, with, with handling the content and also the actual practical aspects of their job. Where can we find a solution to bridge you know, these two? I think really effective teacher training focuses on classroom culture above all and specifically working on core values and social emotional development as the foundation um, and then adding the content expertise on top of that. Okay. Now we've seen several revisions of our curriculum, uh, the, 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 the secondary school curriculum yes. um, since 1994. What is your take on the current curriculum? Well, our schools are aligned to CAPS, which is the national curriculum, but we also believe there needs to be a focus on critical thinking, um, collaboration, and other skills that students will need to be successful in the future, whether it's going to university or entering a career that fulfills them. But there, is, there are alarm bells have been ringing about low levels of literacy in our schools, yeah. and it is vital that literacy be raised, or the levels of literacy be raised, so that we can then, we can then engage in critical thinking. Yeah, it's a complex um, concern and I think that literacy is at the heart of it. At the moment, 8 in 10 grade 4s can't read for meaning in South Africa. So by preparing teachers better, we're also ensuring that our students achieve at much higher levels. Yes. And how would you um, address these low levels of literacy? What, what plan do you have? Well, um, we begin with the foundational skills in grades R through 3 and uh, after building on basic skills of, of phonics, we move on to comprehension pretty quickly. We don't believe that a student needs to be able to read fluently before they can start to understand what they're reading. Yes. Um, so our teacher training focuses on ensuring reading comprehension from the very beginning. Okay, so what makes a good teacher? Wow, um, that's a great <laughs> question. I think that um, teachers are people who are committed to excellence um, and also service. They care a lot for students um, and they really want to ensure that students have the best opportunity in life. So I'm grateful for all the committed teachers in my life. I know that you are too. Um, yeah. Teachers make a massive influence on us. We also find that there are certain aberrations that teachers have been uh, reported to have done, such as impregnating schoolgirls, such as uh, not delivering on their, on their duties as teachers. How big a problem is that? I think it's a massive problem and a severe crisis. Um, the role of a teacher is a sacred role and it has to be taken very seriously. So accountability in those cases is very important um, and to ensure that our students feel that schools are a safe place and a caring environment for them. Do you feel that today's teachers are sufficiently motivated to carry out their tasks? I don't think that motivation is the concern. I think teachers being treated as professionals is the concern. Um, Teaching isn't seen in, in high esteem in South Africa, and so the esteem of teaching, respect for it, needs to be raised. Are teachers being paid enough, given the responsibility of their jobs? I don't think so, um, and I think that one way that we professionalize teaching is remunerating fairly to ensure that teachers, in whatever school they may be in, are remunerated fairly for the very difficult work that they do. 
Let us talk about school governing bodies and their role in the schools. Um, what exactly is their purpose and what exactly is their role? Well, it varies depending on the type of school, um, but most school governing bodies are um, made up of people who um, lead in decision making or advisory for the school. Um, in some cases, a school governing body may not be a decision making body, but they may provide um, really rich advice for the principal of the school. Um, in general, though, I think the role of a school governing body should be to partner with the school leadership to ensure that the staff and the students in the school are well served. Now we've had uh, some complaints from some schools mm -hmm. where school governing body members are on site every teaching day. They're, they they take their job as governing, mm. as being present on duty, so that they can then interfere with the actual running of the school, mm -hmm. uh, to you know according to their own tastes and their own desires. Mm -hmm. Now sometimes they even overrule school principles. What is your comment on that? Well, I think there's a positive intention there, even though it may not be seen. Um, for me, the key is really partnership. Um, a school leader, a principal of a school, and a school governing body need to come to an agreement together on what the role of the governing body is going to be. Um, otherwise, I think we put students' futures at stake. And in all mm. things, the students have to be at the center of the decision making. And then you have some of the teacher unions who are accused of interfering in, mm -hmm. in, the, in the, the teaching process, or in the, in the, in the overall education. Yeah, I think the rights of workers are fundamental. Um, and again, uh, I believe that it should be students that are at the center of all the decision making. Um, so, I know that you, you said that this present curriculum sucks. What is your solution? What is your plan? What, 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 is it, what needs to be done in terms of the curriculum? Well, our, we're aligned to CAPS, which is the national curriculum in our schools. Um, I think the key is really in how the curriculum is delivered. It's in ensuring that there's critical thinking. It's in ensuring that there's opportunities for students to learn through project-based and practical learning, um, and that values and social-emotional learning are made as part of that process as well. Now, teachers are also you know, involved in this whole developmental process. Um, how much of learning goes, or how much of training you know, do they need f to actually bring that into their mm -hmm. teaching? Well, at Spark, we offer 245 hours per year of professional development, which is about a decade's worth of professional and these development. Are for the teachers at your school? For the teachers, absolutely. About a decade's worth of professional development in a traditional schooling system. Yes. Um, we think training is fundamental. I yes. mean, in the same way you would want your doctor to constantly be trained on new techniques, we believe that teachers should have the same opportunity and that when we invest in their growth, we're showing them how much we respect and care for them. There's also a great divide between private education and traditional schooling and government state, state schools. Mm. What is your take on, 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 the, on the gap between the two? Well, I think the future of education in South Africa will only see success if we can work together. Um, it's important to me that um, private institutions open their doors and ensure that they are being collaborative um, and that the same happens in government schools. I think we all can learn from each other. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming in and giving, giving us your intake. Well, that's, thank you. That was Bailey Thompson-Blake, Chief of Schools at Spark Schools.